What up, peeps and peepettes? Morbtron back today with more Ark Survival Evolved vanilla-ish on Ragnarok. And I just want to thank you all for being awesome. With all your support in prior episodes, if you like this one, do not forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't. So today, we have the derp tank here. We have our Paraceratherium in a box. And we're going to make it metal and we're going to uh, try to complete the derp tank and get it ready for battle. Um, and to do that, we need to actually make some metal stuff. So I have a bunch of resources already made up. Got a bunch of cementing paste, bunch of metal, bunch of crystal. But we need to know what we need to make. And the easiest way for me to do that is to actually just demo gun all of these walls down so I can see exactly how many I need to make. So that way I'm not uh, overproducing. You know, I don't want to just click, you know, oh, just make a hundred of these things because that's, that's going to be way too much. And, uh, well, at least I hope it'll be way too much. I don't want Derp Tank here to be too expensive, but you never know. You never know. It could take 100 to protect a Pariser. But what we're going to do is actually just demo gun all of the stone and put it into one container. And then see exactly how much it's going to take to make what we had into metal so that we can continue to make it... Well, metal. And it'll be all metal, and the derp tank will be in a nice concealed box, nice and safe, full of deadly automated turrets to take down gigas and just romp around and have a good time with. Because having a Pariser kill a giga is pretty darn funny. I think, anyway. Um, the gigas generally don't know what's going on when they're getting attacked by a derp tank. And, uh, just tend to fall over. Let's hop up here and see this design. So back here, the rear is different than the front for two reasons. One, so I know which is the front and which is the rear. And for two, so it can protect his head. You know, I don't want Derp Tank's head to get all bitten by Giga when it's looking around and stuff. So these ceiling tiles are out far enough all the way around to where its head's not going to stick out, ever. It might stick out up, but we'll be able to take care of that because there will be a cab, basically, a cabin made out of glass. Hey, hey there, Derp Tank. How you going? How you doing? You doing good? Good. It's good. Good. It's good. So we'll have a cabin made out of glass so for the driver and any turret operators to sit in and be nice and protected from the gigas and other shenanigans as well. Um, like if we use it for, you know, titanosaur taming or um, wyvern killing or anything like that, or even rock golem taming or killing as well. Um, so I went ahead and I forgot to look what I was... I was doing. All right, so let's see. Let's see what we got here. We've got 76 walls, so it looks like I'm actually I'm going to be over 100 walls. Uh, we've got 38 triangle uh, S plus stone uh, triangle ceilings, and we've got four stone ceilings. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to make all this stuff and then get to a point where all of that is metal. And then we'll do more designing with stone and keep on going like that so that way we're not wasting metal and cementing paste on a vanilla type server and we can design with something more abundant. So I'm going to get all these materials made and the derp tank back to where it was in metal form and then we will get back to more designing of the derp tank. So I will be our beast, peeps. Alrighty, peeps, and we're back. And... It's all metal now. And we're starting to do some, some designification of the front end a little bit. So I actually didn't use all of the metal walls that I made, and I only made 76. And the reason for that is um, I'm going to start sloping down the front 
so that way it looks a little bit better. Can, can you stop? No, no. Okay, can you just go? Can you no, no. Okay, S, S plus stuff. Come on. All right, there we go. There we go. There we go. Aha! I win. S plus shenaniganery. All right, and then I need just to get the stuff down where I want it. Can no, that's not where I wanted that to go. Unfortunately, can you can you not do that? Appreciate just being able to cycle through these snap points. But S plus has always been kind of a jerk face when it comes to that. Especially recently. Alright. It's not. Ah. Uh, why? Alright. Ah, I win. S plus. Now it's only a few other places that I need it to snap to. Get these snap points uh, correct. Now, <laughs> no, stop it! Bad. There we go. There's one. Now we need one over here. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna wait for it to go down. Bam! Right there. Ha ha! Win. Winning. All that sorts of stuff. So. Okay. And, uh, not sure what happened there. Had a little bit of a computer derp. But, uh, we're back. And I took all of the things down. I'm, like, my game just stopped recording. My, my recording software just turned off for some reason. Um... So, yeah, but anyway, I ended up having to remove the wooden uh, angled pieces because they wouldn't, they're not going to work. And the reason for that is because, you'll notice up there, I have a mixture of squares and triangles. And squares don't mix the triangles very well when it comes to sloped pieces in arc. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm still going to have it cut in here. Um, so, like, I'm going to have this be like that. But I'm going to have some metal, like, decorative teeth-looking deals. Um, so, if I can get it to snap and not break some of the metal. Eh, like that. And I'll have one over here as well. And it'll look like teeth. So when the Pariser attacks... That's the wrong thing. So when the Pariser attacks... You know, it looks like the teeth are chomping down. Kind of, kind of aesthetics stuff, but uh, I think you okay, Sarah. You, you good? All right. Uh, so kind of just uh, aesthetic stuff, but we're going to bring it down another level with stone. And oh, I can't take all those. Put those in there. Put those in there. Put those in there. Bam. We're going to come down with stone, and like I said, this is this is uh, not permanent stone. This is design stone. So we're just kind of filling in. I was afraid of that. Uh, we're just kind of filling in the area where the metal will be eventually. Um, but I'm just putting this stuff here now to play around with the design of the derp tank a little bit. So it'll be kind of like a mouth right here for the derp tank. And then it's going to go completely underground. And what we're going to have to do is actually complete this in the water. Um, which I am not going to do with uh, stone, obviously, because then I just have to completely redo it in metal. But that's fine, because what I can do is I can just 
count how many things I need out of metal up there, because it's going to be the same pattern down here, of course. Um, but you can get kind of the, the rough design of what this thing's going to look like, and I'll have to replace that wall, because... stupid. Um, so it's going to look like a big building that has, you know, turrets and stuff on it. And it's going to have some teeth here. And as far as accessing it from ground level, I am going to have some door frames uh, with some doors on both sides. More than likely underneath the turret areas. Um, so that way you can still access the um, legs of the Pariser and get up onto its saddle. Um, and then we can continue on with the rest of the build. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to go make all of the metal shenanigans that we need to complete the underside and the rest of the sides. We'll get that done in the water and then we'll bring it back up. So BRBs. Alright, peoples, we are back and we're in the water with Derp Tank. And uh, so I got done placing all the things down below, and I'll just kind of show you guys, give you guys a quick tour. So he's completely encased in the metal now, and you kind of see I was able to do not just the teeth here. Uh, so he kind of looks like one of those sand tank cruiser things from uh, the Jawas in Star Wars. I think that's kind of kind of neat. Um, so it's got the the turret. Uh, pockets on either side. It's got these doors. On this side, they're all the way down to the bottom, and they're two, just so, I mean, you're never going to line up perfectly with them, so there's two just because of that. And on this side, I have it one up, just in case the terrain is super uneven and you can't get in on the other side. Um, but you see, he's completely enclosed in here, in his own little world, um, and the doors allow you access to... Uh, the dino to, to mount the saddle. Um, and the top here is also going to be completely enclosed. Um, but for right now, it's open because we, you know, we just haven't built that part of it yet. So now, like I said, it's completely enclosed in the bottom. Technically, a unfriendly dino could still see the Pariser through, you know, just by looking at its saddle. Um, but when the top is on it, when the uh, glass portion of the top, the S plus glass, so it's, like I said, as strong as metal, um, is on this thing, it will be 100% completely enclosed, and no unfriendly dino will actually see the derp tank as a dinosaur. Um, it'll see it as a building, and enemy dinos Enemy wild dinos don't aggro onto buildings, so it kind of makes it stealth. Like a very... I don't know... simple version of stealth. Like, as stealthy as a giant metal box stomping around can be. Um, so you can kind of see there with the ramps down the, on the sides. Kind of makes it nice to get saddle access when you're in the cockpit area. Or what will be the cockpit area. And you know, you can still access or still get into the big giant dino gates. Um, a Pariser will not fit through um, a behemoth gate. so Or a, through a regular dino gate. So that's uh, not an option. But you can see here, that's kind of why I have doors like that. Can you not? Please, thank you. Okay, door. 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 Nyeh. Nyeh. Hit it a bit. Okay. Why am I, like, hurt? Oh, it's probably because I was drowning. Let's, let's get up here and let's actually whistle. You can still whistle through the building, of course. Not sure why I wasn't able to get in through that door. I'm avoiding putting the double doors on it. Um, 
because I've had issues where dinos have been able to just, like, walk out through those. Um, and I don't want to risk dinos getting in through those big double doors. Um, so here we have it, like this. So let's kind of see here. Let's, um, go craft some glass stuff. And then we'll get some glass stuff down and kind of get the... Sarah, are you are you okay? Are you okay? Hey, look at me. Look at me. Are you okay? All right. I don't know. I don't know what her deal is. She's got a deal. I'm not sure what what it's about. But let's go in here. So I got a, you see, I got a ton of crystal. Um, I got a ton of smelting paste. I do have more metal. So let's actually pull resources. I was I was cooking more. There we go. Bam. I said I said bam. There we go. More metal. And now we're gonna craft. We're just gonna craft a bunch of the glass. And let's see here. Let's see here. What do we want to do? What do we want to do? Oh, we for sure need walls. So let's craft some walls. And let's go ahead and let's craft 30. Let's craft 30 walls. And then let's go ahead and craft. Six of those, and six of these, and then ten of those for now. Let's just get started with the, uh, we don't need, I don't need the slope groups. Let's just grab these for now, because these are heavy enough as it is. We don't need to get too fancy. Alright, and now, since, oh, oh, no, okay, we got, we got that stuff going on. Uh, pick up S plus glass wall, there we go. Since we got, since the derp tank does kind of stick its head up through this metal, we want the cockpit to protect his head when he decides to poke it up through the metal, like that. Like, hey man. It looks so uh spaced out. Hey man, what's up? I might actually end up removing the metal right here as well to kind of see um Derpasaur's head because he is gonna poke his head up through there quite a bit. Hey man, what's up? What's going on? You yeah, there we go. And then what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have okay. Let's. I don't. I don't know why S plus feels like it needs to do that. I don't know why that needs to be a thing. S plus. Kind of wish you wouldn't. Kind of wish you wouldn't do that. Kind of wish you wouldn't. Okay. We're good there. And then. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to put some doors in. And I might extend this platform out a little bit here and put some more turrets on it. Um, and that way, you know, the passenger could come out here and, like, shoot some guns, maybe. You know, it, it can be whatever you want it to be. That's a nice thing about this. So, now we're going to have... Not, can we can we not can we not can we not do that? Can we just not? Can we just not? S plus. S plus, please. Oh my god, why? Why? I don't I uh We'll probably put again another door. It's, it's whatever, just pick one. 
you know, it's going to be impossible for me to not have it be all derpy, so. And then here... We're probably going to start to do the slopey, the sloped stuff. And have it slope off in the back. Um, we'll probably go up another level here. Just because the Derpasaur, of course, is going to stick his head up through even this first layer. And then so if we have a slope section here, we have a door here, we'll have to have another wall here. So it might we might have overdone it with the slope pieces, but oh well. Oh well, you live and you learn. Made too many slope pieces, so I do need the doors. So I'm gonna go make three doorways and three doors. And uh, go from there. Let's see. So let's see here. Three doors. Three of those. And how many ceilings can we make? Two. Make two whole ceilings. What am I out of? Cementic paste. Perfect. I'm gonna have to go raid some. Oh, actually, no. Do I have any more in here? Ah ha ha! Win. What am I doing? <laughs> oh no! This is what tired Morbtron does. Two of those. We'll just take both of those. Alright. And door frame. No. Okay, there we go. And door frame. All right, so I need I need you guys to play nice and pick one way. I don't care which way it is, but you got to be one way. And you're not you're not doing that for me. So can you can you play nice? No, you're not. You got to play nice. Play nice, please. There we go. Alright, so the roof section, the ceiling, I'm not sure if I want to make the ceiling metal or glass. Glass would give better visibility, but metal might look better. I might leave that up to you all in the comment section. I should make the ceiling on this, the roof. Other than the slope section here, of course, um, if I should make it glass or metal. So the back section here is going to be glass, just so we have better visibility because it's not two wall sections high. But do you think we need the better visibility up? Like if I'm... It might be better for overall visibility. Just to be able to see through that. So I don't know. Let me let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section. I do still kind of want to have... Now, you know, a lot of times people just completely erase the metal framing. But I kind of want to keep the metal framing so it seems more tank-like. Um, if it's completely glass, yes, we'll be able to see better. But 
it won't seem all that protected, if that makes sense. So, um, even though it is, either way. I want it to, to look like a tank. So, um, but yeah, I think that's going to be it for this episode, guys. So we got the first part of the derp tank done. We just have the ceiling left to go, and then, of course, mounting the turrets. Um, this section back here is probably going to be a cannon. Um, I might have another ceiling section sticking out the back for a cannon. But, yeah, let me know what you guys think about the, uh, about the ceiling and then the overall progress that we've made today on the derp tank. So, yeah, if you liked it, if you like this design, if you like the overall concept, make sure you hit that like button. If you are new to the channel and you want to see more derp tank action, you want to see more arc, uh, you want to see more of a new game that I've been playing called Dark and Light, which is like arc with magic, subscribe. If you have anything to say, do it in the comment section down below. Do not forget to have a good day, everybody. And I will catch you all next time.